Hello, hello there, and we are live. See ya, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome, yeah, to another episode of Premier League Talk Factory. See ya, some of the boys are not are not going to be here today. Marty should be joining us. Um, of course, Back of the Net podcast is still, you know, fighting with his, <laughs> you know, with his computers and with his phones and everything, man, you know, because, of course, uh, 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 Matt, uh, that's of course back of the net podcast. You know, he has been very, very busy th- this week. Work, you know, he had leave and done streams these days. So I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting for him to pop on. But let's see. Uh, but of course, I got my guy, my brother, Lan Tech TV, and definitely Matt Odom will be joining us down here. Uh, uh, Matt will be joining us quite soon. But see, yeah, Matt, uh, uh, Lan Tech, you saw what happened at, at least right now, yeah. The nerves are calm right now. We can actually mm-hmm. um, uh, uh, calm down, look into what happened in that band match. We'll also talk about the Aston Villa matchup and, you know, some, you know, some little things going on here and there. Good evening, Mama Flossie. Mama Flossie, how are you doing? Mama Flossie, yeah, I was seeing some... Mama Flossie, I was seeing some good uh, uh, throwback pictures on your Facebook Lovely, lovely memories uh, you have there, Mama Flossy. Big ups to you. Mama Flossy, how are you doing? Hope everything's okay. She says, evening, Tony. Evening, Lawn Tech. And of course, uh, Drew Gunners says, yeah, big up, Tony. See, yeah, guys, get Drew Gunners over the line, you know, get into 50 subscribers. Right, That's subscribe right, to like you, man. 12, 12, 12, 12 more people to, to make him, uh, 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 you know, just take off on his channel. Yeah, guys, please help me do it. Help me do it because Drew Gunner is very, very, you know, he has been very, very instrumental to this channel. Uh, some of the graphics, he has been the one doing it for, for some time now, you know, and he has been supporting me on this channel. So, guys, what, whatever you're watching this or whenever you're watching this, go subscribe to this name you're seeing right now on YouTube, Drew Gunner's VR, and he's a very, very real one. Uh, See, so yeah, he says, yeah, big up Tony and guest. Get those notifications on and smash the likes on arrival. If you're here regular, you know this. Good evening to that. Yeah, good evening to you, Drew Gunners, man. You're welcome. See, Lawn Tech, now that now that we've um we've had time to to digest what happened uh, uh mm-hmm. on Tuesday, yeah. Now let's open it up. Let's talk. Matty will be here quite soon, he will have a lot to say, but yeah, just Open up, yeah. Where where did we go wrong in that Bayern Munich game? Because uh, that will set us up. It's a perfect appetizer to set us up to that Aston Villa game coming up in the weekend. So, uh, you know, and also there's also adjoining stuff we need to talk about. But again, this Bayern Munich stuff, man, tell me, man, what really went wrong? Now that you've taken time to digest what happened, yeah, what have you come up with? What were the problems? Was it a structural, you know, a problem, tactical problem? Was it, you know, was it our assets down there on the field? What, what, what was really the, what really went wrong? I think first of all, um, a lot of the Arsenal fans were a bit too overconfident and they underestimated Bayern Munich. That's the first thing I'd say. Because um, a lot of people were um, looking at their league form compared to the Champions League. But I was looking more at their Champions League form because they pretty much slapped every single team they faced. Other than, um, I think it was the Lazio first leg, which, which they lost. I think other yeah. than that, they practically panned everyone, including the Manx. You know what I mean? Twice. So. Pick up GTV, like, yeah. Guys, if you've not yeah. subscribed to GTV, uh, uh, GTV football channel, yeah. You know, he's a Liverpool fan, but this guy's blessed, man. He's he's really blessed. Exactly. Yeah, if you if you hear this guy talk about Liverpool, man, you know, you know, he's a real one. You know, he has the knowledge, he has the capacity base, he has everything going on for him. And I, I've I really wanted him to come on the channel, but you know, his schedule is quite tight. Uh, GTV, it's really nice to have you on the channel, man. Yeah, and um, of course, uh, Richard. Go check this guy out, GTV, uh, uh, GTV football channel. Man. Yeah, yeah. And he's a great guy, you know, and um, he knows his stuff. Yeah, man, you were saying something. Anthony Herbert is in the house. Big up to Anthony Herbert. Big Anthony up, Herbert, man. how are you? 
Yeah, man. Yeah, man. No, um, yeah, you were saying something, Richard. Yeah, yeah. Basically, um, yeah, and we sort of, um, a lot of the fans underestimated them. I was sort of level headed, thinking, you know what, I think we can win the game, but it's going to be difficult. You know what I mean? So they got a lot of quality players, like world class players, like players that we don't really come up against very often, especially in the Premier League. So it was always going to be tough. And obviously, with the fact that they had no fans, like, should have been an advantage, but we didn't take advantage of that. But first things first, I think um, not starting Thomas Party in this game was a bit of a factor. Because I, I mm. thought this was the game where he could actually start now. So I yeah. wanted like Partey, Rice and Odegaard. That would have been a lot more solid. Because what was happening in the but game... Again, there were argue- but again, there were arguments that, you know, Thomas Partey wasn't really fit enough to come into this matchup. Like, what was your take on that one? Do you think he was already fit enough to come in? Because mind you, he had a very great game against Luton. And then, you know was put on the bench in, in, in this game against Bayern. Yeah, because the thing is, he, what, um, he started against Luton, didn't he? Yeah, he started. He played... That's what I mean. So he, he must be fit enough. He, he must be fit enough, enough to at least play the yeah, first no. 70 minutes or something. You know what I mean? He should have been, been fit enough. But, the, but again, yeah, Richard T. Yeah, the, but again, this has been happening time and time and time again. Uh, but look at Emmy smith Road. Yeah, it, it, it had such a good showing against Luton. By the way, Luton were fighting relegation. Let's don't are fighting relegation. Let's don't mm-hmm. throw that factor away. Yeah, they're a dangerous, dangerous team to face right now. But good and okay. Emmy Smith Rowe had a good game. Thomas Partey had a good game, and then they come down to the Champions League, where we do need Thomas Partey's um, European experience because he played for Atletico Madrid. He has that European experience going on for him, yeah. uh, you know, and he's nowhere to be found. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Like, it brings him on too late. Um, and Emmy Smith Rowe had such a good game, doesn't get a sniff at all. So, you know, that, and of course, that game was crying out for, for at least a player who knows how to, you know, make their way in and around the box. The get into pocket spaces, open up play, and, yeah. and 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 get the ball into advanced spaces because Odegaard was being totally outmacked, outgunned, and displaced. Uh, you know, in his creative um in his creative uh, position to on the day against Bayern Munich, so he just needed someone to just come in to reinvigorate the whole thing, but nothing. It was bland. It's like it's yeah, that's bland. the thing. Just That's bad. the thing, you see, because um, I know like Jorginho has been playing a lot and he's done all right since he's been in. So I'm not complaining too much about Jorginho, like what he's been doing and stuff. But I thought that was the game you know, to bring Thomas Party back because Jorginho has been playing mm-hmm. bare games. And exactly. to be honest, yeah, Thomas Party is fit now, so he might as well just start using him with Rice because that would have looked more mm-hmm. solid because in that game, yeah, even though we the first 20 minutes we started well, we put them yeah. under pressure, we scored the goal. And then obviously that Ben White chance, yeah. yeah. Oh bro. honestly. Had he scored that, yeah, I think we'd go on to win that game. Bro, that he was, was literally one the one fine one. margin, bro. He was one on one with the one on one, he should have finished it. I know he he's not a striker, but he's he scored goals like that before. I've seen him score goals like that. I've seen him score goals like that. Yeah. He's actually scored goals. I think this season, Ben White should have nearly, I think, two goals this season. I've seen him at I least so, score. Yeah. I, don't, I, I don't really understand what happened, man. I, I don't really don't care. Know, uh, yeah, and then I think that was when the game changed, when we didn't take that chance. And then mm-hmm. they just, and then our defense just went, went to sleep. Saliba and Gabriel just had their bozo moments in that game. Yeah. And that, that, that cost us the game, bruv. <laughs> to be honest. Literally, oh, bruv. Literally. Then we never recovered from that. We never really recovered from that, to be honest. Even mm. though we got the goal in the second half. Never recovered, man. <laughs> no mm. shocking. Yes. Actually, actually, me and Lion Tech were, were watching that matchup on the day. And, you know, of course, we will still get back to him. But again, 
uh, you know, one of our brothers have joined us here, you know, <laughs> after playing with his phones, playing oh, with his three devices, bro. you know, You're reached dumb. up to the ceiling, got the, the laptop, <laughs> went to his wardrobe, you know, got the old one up. <laughs> oh, it was hell. You know what? I've, I've, I've literally it's logged in and I can see where it goes. You got into the studio. I got so excited, it just cut. But we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here. Exactly, man. See you guys. Yeah. See you guys. We did not have Matt. Yes, uh, 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 you know, in the last one, Matt, it's nice to have you back, man, on nice the show, man. Back, man. Nice very important. Back. Sorry, man. Very, very important mm -hmm. part of this group down here, man. Mm -hmm. So, man, see ya. Me and Lion Tech, we were watching uh, uh, the, you know, the watch along. Mm -hmm. I knew the emotions me and this brother shared on that day, man. It was, mm -hmm. see, at every attack, yeah. That was how bad it is. And you see, yeah, guys, yeah, Richard, yeah, in real life, is a strong person, yeah? <laughs> At least I've spoken, I've spoken to him off camera. He's a strong guy, yeah? For this guy to be shivering, yeah, live on stream, whenever Bayern Munich were coming with the attack. Oh, my days. Bro, they were ripping us apart, bro. I'm not even going to lie. That Sunday was cooking. Else I was like, oh, my Something God, what is happened. going on? He got Richard shaking. He was shook. <laughs> see, Matt, were you shook in any way when you saw what happened on the day? Uh, how did you see that matchup? But what the hell went wrong on that day? Because something went wrong. Heads need to roll. You know, accountability needs to be down there. Uh, you know, that someone needs to take responsibility. What went wrong? Was it tactically? Was it structurally? Was it that the players just had a, a certain form of bozo moment in which we could forgive? Because, of course, the, the players that had these problems, yeah, that, at least those players are the players that have actually gotten us over the line this season. Mm. Yeah, it's hard to slag mm. off Gabriel. It's hard to slag off Saliba. So but what's your take on this? Oh, no, I don't know what happened. Um, I think it was a combination of everything. I feel like it was tactically as well. I feel like Kivio shouldn't, start, shouldn't have started that game. I think we knew in terms of the pace that Bayern had. You know, it's so funny because with Sane, I remember how fast he was in the league. But when I watched that game, I went, bro, you're quick, you know. I forgot just how fast you are. Um, and him, him and Gnabry caused, you know what I mean? And him and Gnabry caused problem. Mm. Um so that was an issue for us. I feel as well, do you know what? I don't know about you guys, but I feel like our home form or our form in general, Champions League to Premier League, something changes in their mentality. I don't know what it is. They they don't look as relaxed. Uh, there's something happens in the Champions League. And I, I feel they played the occasion. I feel like at 1-0 mm. and also football small margins because if Ben White scored, it's a different game. The fact he didn't score and then they've gone and scored it just plays in the heads because we've all played before, you know, and you get to a point where, yeah. oh my God, we missed a chance. It's 1-1. One, one. Then you start to panic a bit. You don't do stuff in the normal way. Then it's 2-1. Mm. But where you got to give Arsenal credit, we stuck in a game at 2-1. We could have easily mm. have gone 3-1 down, 4-1 down. But we stuck yeah. in it. And listen, as I've said it numerous times, Trossard is our Jota. He is our Jota. Like, he, he is really our is Jota. That, he's the guy. I'm saying this. You bring. That, I'm not saying you have to start him every game. Exactly. You don't have to start him every game because there are some games where he don't work starting a game. But put him in mm. that box to finish. Throw us in, and and I, 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 I give Arsenal. Yeah, I give Arsenal a bit of credit for that. But let's remember, guys. Yeah, let's not be too hard. We haven't been in Champions League for 14 years, right? This team are at a quarterfinals. It is an experience. Let's not forget Man City. How long before they went and won it? Would the team they built. Quarter final, Tottenham it went out, semi final. Like mm. you lose, you are gonna lose certain games before getting to that. And it hurts. Don't give me about the Spartan parcel of football. Um, but I'm, I'm mm. I like what I saw. The fact and don't forget Rass mm. was in a yellow early as well. He played with a handbreaker. Yeah. If you got another one, if you got yeah, another yeah. one, you would have missed you would have missed the second leg. Would so have missed, all the, these little, missed the next game. Exactly. All these little things. And listen, the two goals they scored were down to us. You know what I mean? They didn't really yeah, go out to, and... Richard, Richard said it the other day. Yeah, it's down to yeah. us. It's down to yeah. our mistake. Yeah. So everyone will look mm. at it and go, well, Arsenal defensively conceded, but we did it to ourselves. And you look through the whole season, we do it to ourselves when we concede goals. Like, I, I don't think there's many games where the opposition rip us apart. It doesn't really happen. So let's just look on the bright side, man. I'm, I'm positive. But see, yeah, when you started your argument here, yeah, you said probably maybe, you know, the occasion got to us. 
I, I've heard that in several podcasts, yeah. And mm. I, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that because this same Arsenal team goes down to the 80 hat, yeah. The most dreaded place to go pick up any point. The most dreaded place for a Champions League team, yeah, a big, notorious Champions League team to go down there to even come out there a lot, come out from their lives. We go down there, we lock up shop, we come out with a point. Mm. They, they, don't forget, those are the champions of Europe. That the Premiership nice. champions. It's we go margins, there. Though, Tony. We go margins. there. We go there. We go there. We we don't only get a point. We keep a clean sheet. Uh, how high is the occasion that we're talking about? Bayern Champions Munich League is hasn't different. Won the cha- Bayern Munich hasn't won the Champions League. Yeah, in our but, year. but but Dude, but we all know it's heritage, it's bro. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Heritage. Heritage. But come on, Liverpool. That's what it is. No, Liverpool but like listen, heritage. Listen, Tony, like I hear you. I hear you. Look, Tony, I hear you. No, I'm just, saying, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. See, uh, see, Matt. Yeah, I'm just saying. We see. We can be very, very double in the way we look at things. It, it just stands for something. Mm. How can we say that the occasion it, it got to us when we've played teams that the occasions are even more higher? Yeah, for me, playing yeah. Man City at the eighty had. That that occasion is higher than the European champions mm-hmm. playing Liverpool at home, beating them three goals to one. It, it the occasion doesn't get higher than that. I'm not well, saying I'm correct. I'm saying I'm yeah. open to interpretation. No, I, I'm I open hear you. To I hear you with that. What you, need to, what you need to remember as well: Bayern have nothing to lose at this stage now. Like they're done exactly. in the league. They're done out. So they've gone into this game. Thomas Tuchel's leaving. It's been announced. You heard before the game, they said, oh, I can't remember who it was. Was it Kane? No, Kane said afterwards, it's a weird feeling of your manager's leaving. Bro, yeah. imagine, put yourselves in them shoes. You're playing for a team. Your manager's going. You're not winning the league. You have one competition left. You're like, do you know what? Forget what our form was in the league. This is the chance to get the fans back on our side. And you go for it. And all right, they went for it. And as I said, we cost ourselves. What I mean by, when I say occasion, I mean like, we need to remember these are still younger players. I'm not I'm not excusing mm. them because they still have to perform well. But Rice never played yeah. in Champions League. Europa's different. Saliba uh, hasn't done. I don't think he's in Champions League. I don't know if Gabriel did it for Lille. But yeah. we've got a lot of players where it's kind of like, come yeah. on, like you know what yeah. I mean? It's yeah. Ben White yeah. as well, Raya as well. So yeah. as I said, it's all an experience thing. When we saw Man City losing quarterfinals, they had great teams. But sometimes it's a case mm-hmm. of. You're, you're never going to go from not being in it 14 years to suddenly we get into the final. Everyone's just because yeah. of everyone's just because of how we're performing, but the league is different. Like you hear every comment here oh, saying in the league we're doing this, we're doing that. We cost yeah. ourselves in this buy-in game. Trust me, if Ben White had scored a goal, it's a different story. We're sitting here. It's going, a different story. We're, right? we're sitting yeah. here going, what? Four one up, calm. <laughs> but it's it's all fine margins. It's all fine margins and. It's it is so tough now. Hey, let's not That's lie. The thing, it, is, That's you know the I mean? it is tough. It is tough now, but it is what is, man. It is what is. We're we're in two mm. competitions. Let's let's embrace it. Yes, embrace it. Uh, see, yeah, coincidentally, we have two Matties now. And and this is the first time that, uh, you know, my big brother, Matty the Saturn Gunner, will be meeting the other Matty, who is my new friend, actually. You know, and, you know, I've been seeing this guy doing lots of shows. So, you know, I, I, I asked him, hey, man. Please, man, let's have a show together. And he just popped in. So two of you are Matt, and I respect both of you. So I hey, need man, his camera. Need I need man. Matt's camera. What is <laughs> that camera? Need his camera, right? yeah, yeah, bro, need his camera bro. Bro. Listen, <laughs> he come in here. Yeah. He come in, and I honestly thought it was like you know they play a video before you come in. I was like, what? Exactly. <laughs> Love that crystal clear camera from that one. Right? Hey, man, you guys are talking. <laughs> See, man, he's he's a actually, 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 he's a, actually, he's a, he's a doctor in photography, man. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Yeah, man, a yeah, I, 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 I have to have a crystal clear so, so that I can get my point across. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Pleasure love to it. meet you, brother. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Nice yeah, to meet yeah. you. Yeah. And, and of course, he has your, you know, you, you two share the same name. So, Matt, Matt, Matt. So, but, but see, yeah, um, guys, I saw, I saw that game, Manchester mm-hmm. City versus Real Madrid. I saw Atletico with Borussia Dortmund. Guys, the stakes are high. I saw how these guys were playing like lions. See, it, it, it's nothing to be compared to what I saw between Arsenal and Bayern. I saw shots from 
10, 15 yards, 20 yards. I saw lots of gameplay. I saw tactical nuances. I saw different interchangeability, getting into positions that you never believed that you would ever see. It was like a chess game in those games, yeah. Guys, do you think Arsenal have the quality, yeah? Because it's easy to say, bring on Real Madrid. Bro, when I saw what Real Madrid was doing with Man City at the Benefit, oh my God, bro, this is a different scene. It's like the 12th heaven. Bro, I was seeing shots, I was seeing compactness of, of the defense, even yet, uh, you know, they were still broken. Those lines were still broken. Midfield play, attacking football, counter-attacking, transitions were quite fast. And I'm thinking, if Arsenal, yeah, we're, we're dealing with the Bayern Munich, yeah, that are not necessarily good in transitions and counter-attacking football in the German Bundesliga, I get it. In the Champions League, it might be quite different, but whatever. When they had those transitions, when they came into counter-attacking positions, look at how they cut into our defense and caused problems. If if we go one stage ahead and get maybe a Real Madrid, even an Atletico Madrid, bro, it, it, <laughs> it's sticky, huh? that, that, when I watched the highlights of those games, man, I was like, what is what am I seeing? It's like Spartans just playing strong on the ball, bro. Does anyone have anything to say about that? Uh, I would love to. <laughs> I would absolutely. Because Tony, you're saying every single thing, you're saying every single thing that I've been trying to tell you. And everybody else that that, that thought we were gonna roll through this with Byron and everybody that they these teams. No matter how bad they may look, no matter how downtrodden they may look, no matter how many five out of five out of six, seven out of eight games they might have lost it. They get beat beat by Heidenheim. You know, they get beat by, you know, they still have quality. Yep. The quality of their players, they are Champions League tested. They have won championships on, on just about every level. Uh, you've got guys that's won champ. They have you got players on Bayern Munich's team that have won more championships than years they've been playing football. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and, yeah. and, and and you look over at Real Madrid. You had a fan base say, "Oh man, we ready for Real Madrid." Are you sure you ready for that? Are you sure? I ask every Arsenal fan under the sign of my voice. Are you sure? You want to do now? Nah, what, let's get over Bayern Munich first, man. Let, let me, let <laughs> what me I was seeing you. the other day, man, out of Tony, this world. Tony, Matt, Tech. Let me let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Everybody's going on about City. Oh man, City's behind us, man. You saw the city you saw against Real Madrid. That's the real city. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. the real city. That's the city yeah. that we didn't see when we played them a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Th- that city you saw there. It's the city that's gonna be on the back of this next game, these next few, these next few weeks. That's the city you're gonna see show up. That's the real city. City just been sitting here playing, playing possum with folks all year long. But they get ready to show people what time it is. People were saying the other day, oh man, we can beat Barcelona. We <laughs> man, they got kids, they got 16 year olds out there. Well, you, you saw saw yesterday, you saw that, you know. Then you say, well, yeah, man, man, they beat, they beat. Uh, oh my God, I, I was really shocked, right? man. They beat PSG. Yeah, really? They made them look like donuts right in Park de France. Tony, and when they said, y'all remember when they when the draw came out? Y'all remember we the day of the draw? Folk was saying, oh, I want Dortmund. Dortmund is the easiest of the lot. That's what they were saying, right? That's what I heard. Mm-hmm. See, I, yeah, keep, I, mm-hmm. I keep receipts. I keep receipts, and when I need to go back and look, file them away. I told you, I've been looking for the shadows. I hear everything people say. This week, I heard folks talking about Soul Campbell couldn't get in the t- in, in Arsenal's team. Nobody from the George Graham era could get in the Arsenal's team. Well, heard, this Arsenal this, team. This, 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 nobody from George Graham gonna say it again. George Graham and I dropped the audio in the chat in our back chat when we get off the, get off today. That that they could not get into this Arsenal team. Soul Campbell could not get into this Arsenal team. That's what I heard. I have the audio. To back you it don't up. know says these kind of nonsense the things. Are. The, the, hey, the street. Oh, but, 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 but wait, but wait, but wait, 
this is wait, wait, yeah, wait, wait. Let, let's digest this here. <laughs> see, the the Sol Campbell, yeah. See, let's ask the other Mart, and then we'll go to Richard. Yeah, the yeah. other Mart. Can Sol on. Campbell walk into this Arsenal defense right now? Listen, you know, before I answer, do you know what it is? You, uh, I think uh, Lionset was asking. It's the new age fans. The new age fans, what they see. Man, this, one, man, this one even a new age fan, bro. That old guy as well. <laughs> yeah, okay, do you know? Uh, okay, that makes it worse. That, you know, you know, that makes it worse. Even worse. But you know, people see this ball playing defender thing. Yeah. Put respect oh on God. Sol Campbell's. Put respect on Sol Campbell's name. Yeah. The oh, guy was days. a beast at the back. And you know, it's, it's these new formations that are played nowadays. Centre back here, one doing this, the wing backs. So they think, Camp but Campbell, listen, it's solid. If you put him in our team, same thing. We wouldn't be conceded. Like, he'd be, you know, he's solid. The only difference mm. between him and maybe a Gabriel is he wasn't as good on the ball, like, as, you know, some of us centre back. Other than that, you can't say that. So Campbell, you know. Yes, even, yeah. even, even Colo Toure, prime Colo, Colo Toure at our club. Would be yeah, exactly. prime color too. Prime. Listen, yeah, it, it's just very important you put prime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to put prime. prime. I had to put prime. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not, not, not Liverpool color. Yeah, Arsenal <laughs> prime color. <laughs> yeah. Man, Richard. <laughs> Richard, Richard, what about you? What do you think about what Matty said? It's a no brainer. Right? I, I can't believe the stuff that I hear because. <laughs> The nonsense that I see online sometimes, I'm just like, oh, what is wrong with these people, man? I don't get it, man. Because mm. Sol Campbell was a beast. He was a beast. Yeah. Do you no, think you're getting I... past Sol Campbell? <laughs> really? Even at the time, I was even hearing people comparing Kai Havertz to to Beckham. That he was, you know. Oh come on, man. So, this is what Horrible I mean, man. Like, <laughs> horrible you know horrible the people saying this yeah half of these people haven't even seen bird camp play like i've seen him play like that guy was a joke <laughs> a joke of a footballer mm -hmm. like yeah, how, Matty, how are you comparing you... these men to to bird camp or soul camp it's horrible matty you were saying <laughs> something i like you complete uh, uh what you were saying no I, I just was saying that um i just think that we we got a, a hard, uh, and I'm gonna put it. I'm, I was gonna put it in, in, in the back chat. I do when I get to, after I make the point. They, uh, people this week got a large dose of reality. I Every, know. and I had to tell people the further you get in this tournament, whatever weakness you have is magnified times 10. You look yeah. at, you look at Kivior. You look at Zinchenko. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go here, too. You look at our goalkeeper. He ain't never been on the stage like that before. You look at, you look at, you look at Declan it was, Wright. It was not megged. It was not megged at his near post. It was not megged near his near post. Oh, my so, days. Tony, that happens. That happens when you in these games like that. When you in a game, you, you don't know what to do. Yeah. You look at you look at Declan Rice. Yeah, he played in the in the con we talking the conference the conference championship. Y'all, I mean, come on, man. Y'all saw that, man. You saw that. Thank you. We, Thank we, you. Talking about, we talking about start down world class footballers. And Tony, how many times before we played this game? I kept telling you, go player for player, player for player, and, and match them up the hours. That's not saying we don't have good players. I want folks to understand that. I'm not saying Arsenal don't have any good players, but we don't have world-class players. In mm -hmm. order to win this tournament, I don't care. They can keep saying this cup competition is all you want. You have to have world-class players. That goal you saw by Phil Foden against in the set in the Bernabeu on a Tuesday oh, night geez. at at, at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that is world class, a world class goal, which leads me to my goal. Goal. which oh, leads yeah. me to my goal. because I don't know if y'all covered this before I got on here, but I I go ahead and I guess I just go ahead and throw the grenade. Shout out, Miss Melina, big ups, Miss Melina. Soccer, soccer had a chance to become world class on Tuesday night. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He scored a goal, but see, I had to remind people, just like I did yesterday on the show with Jay, I want people to realize that that was not the goal to win the game because he had a chance to win the game. Yeah. 
And what he did was he allowed the referee to dictate the outcome instead of him dictating mm -hmm. the outcome to to separate yourself from from the rest of the pack when he he should have tried everything he could to be getting that score and that goal instead of looking for the referee to to, to bail him out and that's the difference when you look at players in Mbappe you look at these other players they're trying to get in that score yeah feel Harry, food let, feel bro, let, let, let's call it spread his pay feel food yeah, man. He's right there on the doorstep. He is definitely on the doorstep of, of being world class. And see, soccer, he, he's he started to develop that. What I call what I what I what I'm getting ready to start doubling is the, the Ashley Young mentality of looking for these dives, diving all over. Y'all know y'all remember how Ashley Young used to be back in the day. You yeah. you go in with me falling over. And you don't want to get you don't want to get that brand. So just like Kenny Ken said yesterday, when we play next two next week. We ain't getting nothing, so don't even look for it. Don't even look for a call. We ain't getting especially nothing. In especially, no hey, hey, tech, especially after we pick up the ball and they get called for it. So you might as well just go ahead and know. Uh -huh. they're gonna, <laughs> hey, they're going to be right there looking at every move we make. Tony, mm -hmm. for me, the Champions League is done. I'm focused wow. on this league. I'm focused on this league. Because realistically, we we are not getting paid. No, no matter who we play next game and the game after that, bro, we we, we don't have it. Richard, Richard, see, see, uh, I'll go to Richard and of course back on the yeah. podcast. Uh, Matthew yeah. has just opened a can of worms here. Mind you, his last statement here, a couple of last statements he made. He doesn't think that Arsenal will go to Ali and Ariana and get anything from there, R Richard. Are you in support of this? Do you think Arsenal can go to Allianz Arena, a place that we've actually been scorched alive, crucified alive, burnt at the stake? Yeah? Do you think we can go there and, and, and get a win? How do you see it? Are you in support of what Matt said? The only, the only way we could do it is if we defend properly and take our chances. If we don't do that, then forget it, man. Because with their fans in there, yeah, because... The thing about Bayern Munich is, yeah, they're at home, they they don't really lose games at home, to be honest. I know yeah. they lost to Dortmund the other day, but they've given up in their league, so I'm not even yeah. really counting that, to be honest. But really and truly, they don't really lose at home, and they yeah. score goals for fun at home as well. So we have to literally be watertight at the back. But in that game, I expect us to at least take the game to them. Like, I don't want us to be just sitting back and then we get battered anyway. Like, what's the point? You might as well just go for it. And whatever happens, happens. But I agree with I agree with Matty. Like, to be honest, yeah, this Champions League, I just don't see us winning it because we don't have the quality <laughs> in depth to do it. We don't, fam. We don't. We don't. Even if we was to get past Bayern Munich, yeah, say we get a Real Madrid now, yeah, we're done. Oh, my we are done, bruv. I'm telling you. But like what I mean, it's mad, bro. But that sucker chance, yeah. I was saying it on um Matty's channel, um, what was it last week? Like, mm. this is the games where if Saka wants to be world class, he needs to turn up. Yeah, he scored a goal. He was awful for the rest of the game. That last minute chance, yeah. I watched it back so many times. Yeah, he actually beat Neuer and he left his right leg. Into knowing he went past the goalkeeper, he could have scored it in the empty net. He didn't need oh to go days. in and leave his leg out there. He didn't need to do that. He was literally trying to be clever by saying, "You know what? I, I can't be bothered, so I'm just gonna try and get a penalty." Oh here. And it backfired, bro. It backfired. It backfired. No one felt. No one was for it, man. All these fans talking about, "Oh, we got cheated." No, 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 no. Saka cheated us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he could have won that game. Mm -hmm. We're being real. Like, everyone's mm -hmm. making excuses for, oh, that's the reason why we didn't win. That's not the reason why we didn't win. Like, our performances and the way we defended was the reason why we didn't win. That right there. You know what I mean? Right there. Look. Like, exactly. And he could have passed. There you go. And then, and then, and then Trossard standing right here. Wait, one, right here. With, on the yeah, Trossard's right free there. Empty goal. Liching. Oh my days, man. I could be, 
this is the fine lines in football. This is the no, what separates the no. world class from the potentially world class. No, 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 no. At the, kind of back of the net. Then, back of the net wants to say something. Matt, yeah, yeah no, I, to say something. I just want to say, and this is in addition to what Matty was saying as well about the game, you know, being done now. I look at it and I feel like they didn't have fans. Yeah. We know our first leg. Uh, we know the we we know the first leg was at home. So for me, people might think, "Oh, Matt, you're being unrealistic." Blah blah blah. Yeah, I expect I I expected to go to Allianz with three one, four one, four two, whatever. Right? We had to. <coughs> we had to. So yeah. I get we drew, and as I said at the beginning, like I'm happy. You know, we showed fight. Whatever. But it shouldn't even have been a case of us looking now at this thinking, oh, do you know what? We didn't get a penalty. That's why afterwards, I don't know if you lot saw my tweets. I was like, yeah, I don't think it was a pen, whatever. Like, it is what it is. I'm, I was so disappointed that they had no fans. Like, imagine, this was a chance to capitalise. Like, we could have gone to Allianz with the solid defence we have, two goals up, and you can kind of, like, do your thing like we did at City. Sit back. And if we had to, if we had to score one, they'd be like, you know what? Trust our king, come on, please. <laughs> you know what I mean? We need a quick goal just to yeah. keep them at bay. But look, we're in this position now. We're going to Allianz, full stadium. They're going to have the fans jump in. They have nothing else to play for. I'm with Matty. I'm I'm all in on the league now. I'm all in on the league. Like, I look at it now and I think like... I no, but you know what he's telling you? I, I look at it now and I feel... Even if you get past Bayern, right? More than likely, we're going to get to Manchester City because I can't see Real beating Manchester City at Etihad. It's a head when it when it's game on, it, it's different, yeah. So you get city, let's say you get through over two legs. At some point, that's hampering how it, how you're getting on in this league. Hundred percent. I don't care what anybody says. So I agree. get me this league. And as I said, with Man City, it's steps. Fourteen years of that Champions League, we're at the quarter final now. Look at what you went where you went wrong this year. You go and add, all right, like we said, okay, left side's a weakness. Let's go and get a, a stronger left side. So <laughs> when we go next season, let's go again. But the league, look, I'm looking at Villa play today, Thursday, then we play them Sunday. Go and beat Villa. Go, Just go and deal with the league. Like, where we are now, we went close last season. Get me the league. Then you can sit back in the summer and go, do you know what? Cool. Won the league, Champions League. We've got quarters. Let's go again there. Let's build a bigger squad to get to that point. Because we're never going to get to the point to win a double. Let's be realistic. You know, there's so many Arsenal fans like, we're going to get the double. Chill, nah. bro. <laughs> chill, we don't chill. even have the personnel to get us over the no, line. No, I'm not to do that. You know what I mean? Like, I look at our team now. We are set to, uh, Honestly, I just look at this league and I feel... I'm looking at Liverpool. They're losing They're losing now to Atalanta. And I'm like, come on. Like, it's our, it's our time, man, to win it. Let's just go and get the league. Do what else after. Like, you know... You know the thing about it, uh, brother Matt, is that mm. we we have overachieved in this Champions League. Yes, we yes. got we got out of jail against Porto. Let's just be frank. Mm. Let's just be frank. Yeah, it's, it's jail. It's jail. The, the keeper saved us. We were headed out again. Mm. You know, we, we you know you brought up a, a, a excellent point about the uh, the fans next week. Hmm. We're going out there. They're going to have white and red and white flags. Mm. They're going to have megaphones. Of style. You know they're going to have the oh, nice yeah. every time so, if somebody scolds, you're going to hear you're going to hit over the megaphone. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm. They're going to rile them up and, and they're going to be but what? Mm. Come on, come on. You know, they're going to be going. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and they got that annoying song when they score. There's that annoying yeah. song when they score. Yeah, I yeah. I, I remember that, that song. song as well. <laughs> it, it, they played it like five times yeah. in the last game. I remember. And, and, and I would oh, play, play, have a bad night down in Luton. Mm. You know, so mm. over there, you already know what's coming, man. Mm. It's good. Co- now, let, like I said, now we get past them, we get past them, but I, I just, like Brother Matt said, we just, the reality of it, we, we don't have enough squad depth, which is something we need to address this mm. summer. We, in order for us to compete, Tony, in order for us to compete, man, we have got to address the squad depth in these tournaments. I, you know, I, I brought this up last week. We were all together. Thank God. We, you know, I know we all are sick that we went, we're not in the FA Cup and we we, we we pissed away the Carabao Cup. But think about it. We were. We'd be, we, we'd be scraping at the bottom of the barrel. Mm-hmm. We'd be mm-hmm. scraping at the bottom of the barrel. We'd have injuries all over the place. That's the only thing that's, that's saving us this year. We, we're not all over the place. 
And we have got to, we have got, to, for God's sake, we got to get a striker. We've got to get a striker. We, we, we have to. We have to. That's a must. That's a must. See, yeah, guys. See, yeah, guys. See, yeah, guys. Yeah, we're not even saying the one that pissed me off yesterday. You guys are just touching the surface, and this is the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm doubting a little bit if we can get over the line against Bayern at Allianz Arena at the Emirates, where we had our own home fans on the day on Tuesday. Raya deemed it necessary to pass the ball to Gabriel and Gabriel took it from the ground, uprooted the ball from the ground. What are these? I, I'm sorry, are these guys smoking bush? <laughs> that was a penalty. No, see, um, let's be frank. It was doing, a man. penalty. What are you doing? That was a penalty. Do, no, you, know, do, you, know, do you know what the referee told those guys? I'm surprised they didn't give it. it I'm very them. surprised they didn't give it. He told Bayern Munich. The, the referee told Bayern Munich that was that was a, a, a schoolboy. That was a schoolboy. Uh, 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 that was a schoolboy mistake. That was what the referee said. Tony, that was a schoolboy mistake. We do it all the time. I am what not going to give that penalty. That? I'm not going to give that penalty in you, a quarterfinal. No, that was a penalty. You that know what? Penalty. It's mistakes like this. No, no, no. Tony, it's lackadaisical behavior. It's, it's, it's like lackadaisical this. behavior that they get away with on Saturdays. And they take, yeah. they roll that stuff over there to the Premier, I mean, to the uh, Champions League. This guy was his first game. So he probably, yeah, I guarantee in his mind he thought about doing it. But he was like, man, if I do this, they'll probably be, you know, all over. He, he, he's still going to pay the price for it. But the problem is when you watch the Premier League, what, 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 when we watch the games Saturday, while we sit around waiting on Sunday for us to come around, watch the game Saturday. They take 10 steps to throw the ball in. They take 70 days to, for a kick out of the back. You know, they pass the ball around, pick it up, you know, all kinds of silly. They do all kinds of silly stuff. Then when you get into the Champions League, it's magnified. Oh, man, the referee, oh, man, you know. You wait. I, I told Lee and them yesterday, said, you wait. Next week when we play Bayern Munich, I guarantee we have a Spanish referee. We have a Spanish referee, or we have somebody from Argentina. We have some 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 Latin referee that ain't gonna give nothing, nothing. They don't give nothing. Hundred percent. That was a penalty, and and you know what? Yeah, Arsenal fans blaming the referee. That referee had a good game, if you ask me. That referee had. A, I'm tired of that. us blaming the referees That's on this. Me. That referee had a good game, and it's again, that, look, that look higher penalty. It's a 50 50 because when I, look, I, of course, I shouted to the penalty, but when I went back to check it, I saw that he stuck. His Tony, leg out. it's always there was, it's there, was always. A, there was a statement of intent when he stuck that leg out. You know these mistakes, and how about our manager? This one. Why do we have the most technically gifted player? On this team, I'm talking of uh, 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 awesome. Trossard, and this guy's in starting games. Tony, he did it last year. He did it last year. He did it last year. He did last year. Tony, after he done this last year, back of the net, Richard, Bruno, I mean. Marty. Up, see, yeah, guys, I've seen Martinelli. His his status stinks this season. That, that, he ain't got that help. Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. He's looking drab. He's looking drab. A shadow of himself last season. Oh, last he's season, he had 15 goals. Season. Back the podcast. I know you want to defend him right now, but yeah. he had 15 goals last season. We didn't yeah. have anything like help. Forget okay, the help. He did. He didn't, no, but he did he have 15 have goals. Like who, who, played who played in the LCM? Who played LCM? He's looking poor. Yes. Let's call a spade a spade. It's poor this season. Let's just call it what it is. Let me let me help you out. Let me help you out here. Look, back, back of the net wanted to say something. Back of the net, defend yourself on that because I want no, to hear the say, I was, for I was, Martinelli. No, but I was going to say with you, what is with Martinelli? If you remember last season, was it uh, Jaka LCM? Was it on the on the furthest left? Yeah, so there was yeah, something okay, there yeah. with him. There was that type of link. The problem was, if you remember at the beginning, it was Havertz. We all saw how that went. I think he tries the whole rice thing there on the left. It's it's so unbalanced on that side. You can see it. You see the certain games I watch, I'm like, oh, it's not working. Like, what else could we do there? And I get it because he's played Kivior, and Kivior's not really the one that's really gonna overlap. And even when, when he played Pinchenko, 
It's the same. Yeah. It's like, the same thing. It's that, we, 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 that left, honestly, so unbalanced. You know, like when you have when you have White and Saka, you know what you're getting. Like you know when Saka scores that White's giving it mm. to him or Saka reverse yeah. it back to him. On that left, we're struggling so much. I do feel for Martinelli. However, he needs to do a bit more. Like I feel like technically he's not really the best. If you look at him, he's he's very much like you're giving the ball, he run, runs with it. Like you know what I mean, or runs <laughs> off the ball and can finish. So I don't know about him taking on the man. Like, with Saka's got a little bit of extra something to give you a little faint. I don't see that with Martin. So I do want a lot more from him. But I, I don't... It's honestly, it's a struggle for him on that left. It really is. Quickly, <laughs> sorry, just quick, quickly as well. Too much, this is, too much yeah. yeah. I counted up to three, four times where Martinelli was just walking in that left-hand side because we're using more of Saka's side. But he wasn't mm -hmm. trying to even impose himself in the game. After the first 10 minutes, that was all. It was just walking. I could count up to four times. It was just it was just walking around the left hand side. Why players like Phil Foden try to try to multitask, try to move here and there, try to mm. insert themselves into the game? Why is he walking around in the left hand side? I know we're trying to use soccer. That's not an excuse. Impose yourself on the game. Mm. How about that? I, I, I don't know, man. I, I, it sounds just, just, stupid, just, just, but was just walking around and just I'm my, not buying just, it. Just my last point. Playing just against Bayern Munich, and we won't let all these things walk past. So we, we need to we need to check these things. They're very important. Just my last point, quickly, and is this all about to Martin and the team in general? Alluding to what Matty mentioned about Man City, how it's their best team. If you notice with Man City, no when they took out the Bruyne, it wasn't even that thing of where we all looked and were like, they're going to get battered because of that experience they've got and the men in that team. You kind of said raw, like Gavardio left back. You still look to that team and was like, they could handle yeah. Real Madrid, you know, like they, they confirm yeah. this. But Foden picks up. I think that's what we really, really lack. We lack a player that can pop the ball from outside the box. You know, in a mm -hmm. game where it's like nil nil, one one, you just need someone yeah. bang. Like look at the Bruyne, Crystal Palace. They're losing one nil down. You think, oh, might be a tricky game. Bang, goal. We don't bang. have yeah. who, who really do we have? I'm trying to think. If you guys can tell me someone. I don't, I don't. No, none, none, none. Bro, we don't none. shoot from outside the box. None, none. The, the, the <laughs> no, person we should do this type of thing for us is Martin Odegaard, and he's nowhere to be found. See, he was down there doing defensive duties on the day. I know he, 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 he did that. I, I, I give him that, yeah. But he's in this team as a creative spark. Mm. Where was the goddamn creative spark? Where were the shots? Where were the positional play? Where were the incisive cuttings? And see, yeah, do you know what, yeah? We have an animal who is in the bench who could actually get into pocket spaces, move along, open up lots of spaces, and at least allow one or two players become the decoy where we could get, uh, you know, uh, attacking talents and technically give that players to score the goals. That guy's Emmy Smith Rowe. No sniff in the team. He bails us out at Luton, and down here, nothing. Not even a sniff, not even 10 minutes. That's how bad it is. And he had a good game against Luton. Come on, man. It, 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 bro, it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. I'm tired of having players who impress in two games and then in the next game they're on the bench or starting from the bench. A clear example, Trossard. What is he doing? What is he doing on the bench? Mm. That's our most technically gifted but player. The thing is, Tony, yeah. Goal. The thing is, that's the story of this manager since he's been at this club. <laughs> Let's just be real. We, this is nothing that we haven't seen already. You know what I mean, you always see the player play a couple of games and then he's just dropped. It happens all the time under this manager. Mm. Unless it's like someone that's like his favourites, then you're getting dropped, no matter how good you play. You know what I mean? Like Trossard used to get taken <laughs> off at half time when he had a bad game, but no one else will get exactly. taken off at half time. You know what I mean? It's like just him. Like when it could have been anyone, we could have taken Saka off at half time in many games. He was even worse than Trossard mm -hmm. was in them kind of games. He don't get taken off. He never gets so taken off. He just gets stuck on there for 90 minutes, stinking out the game all the time. Like, uh, Tony. This Tony. is what we see under this manager, buff. This is what happens. R Richard, Tony, and, and Matt. This is, you look at Martinelli. And I, and I was telling folks, I don't know why he was starting Jesus for two or three weeks. Mm. Martinelli hadn't started since we went on an international break. 
you immediately throw him back against Bayern Munich for a start. Bro, that's 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 suicide. Mm. That's suicide. He's not go. he's not mentally prepared for that. He, he hadn't got we don't he hadn't got his legs up on him all the way. Cause you had you had you didn't start him. You were he was hell bent on Jesus. <laughs> and then you look, you look at last season. Brother Tony, y'all saw what happened from January to March. Charles mm. was scoring left, right, and center. He was cooking. Any on a run of games where he's cooking. Even internationally, even in Belgium, he was scoring. Watch, watch now, watch. Yeah. Watch, he'll start the game Saturday, and if he ain't good, you won't see him on Tuesday to about the seven, eight minute. Mm -hmm. That's the, that's 100%. the, if, if I can see that, then the world of football can see that. Mm. This is what I was talking about. The manager stopped tinkering with stuff. You see what's working. Tommy Yasu was there before he got hurt. Well, if you if you unsure about Zinchenko, which we all should be unsure about him, back yeah. that fraud, put Tommy Yasu there and ride him out. Mm. So that, the, I, yeah. I even think Tommy Yasu is injured because why would he bring in Zinchenko for he was the Tommy Yasu. He's been on the bench the last. He's on the bench. But he must be. No, he's on the bench, but I'm thinking he's injured. I think he's nah, just he's fit. He, he, nah, he's, he's fit. fit. He's fit. He's fit. He's just not. He's just not picking. Then why is he not playing? Arteta wants to be Arteta. That's Arteta, man. Arteta wants to be Arteta. I'm going to show you. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to call the shot. It's the arrogance. It's the arrogance of the man. Tony. That's what it is. Anybody that keeps playing Zinchenko in left back, oh my after God. his performance we saw last week, the uh, Tuesday night, the week before that, I mean, Stevie Wonder can see that this man ain't qualified to be in left back. Mr. Magoo can see it. Rachel uh -huh. can see it. I mean, it's crazy, man. It's crazy that this man keeps playing. Zinchenko is going to cost us somewhere big. I told, I told Jez, he is the new Rob Holden. He is this year's Rob Holden. Mm. Rob, I think it's worse. It's yeah, worse. I, I think it's worse. He's one of the most experienced players in terms oh. of winning trophies. It's but you know what I think? Players. You know I think with Zinchenko, I feel like he's the type of person. You know, we look at the locker room. I think Zinchenko is the one where he goes to Arteta. No, oh, when Arteta is not there, he will tell the players, "Listen, do this, do it." You know, like that type yeah, of. Yeah, like that kind of guy. Yeah. yeah, I feel like that, I feel like Arteta likes that type of, of player. Yeah. But the only thing, that, like Matt, he's saying, yeah, none of when he come on, I was like, "What against Sane? Are you mad?" Like, that's what, what I thought. The I was pace like, that these like have, and what I'm thinking of Zinchenko is. It's all well and good playing neat balls, going inverted, whatever, blah 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 blah. When that ball, when that diag, when that diag goes, yeah, you know what's happening. <laughs> you know he's holding is better than that. <laughs> no, but you know, you know when that di when that diagonal he's comes, done yeah, is crazy, he, man. he's done, he's done, and it just frustrates me because this is why I can't wait till Timber's fully fit. Because I'm telling you now, when Timber's fully fit and Tommy has to mm. I think at that point. I can see if Zinchenko does play, they're going to try and play him in that um, the LCM position because they want someone to retain the ball, which I don't think is the best thing. But I oh, think that's for, what they're going to try and plan and do. For you, for you, for you, does Zinchenko leave in the summer? Because I know no. of the other guys that they're, they're, they're not, even if I wanted to, they're not going to sell him. The way they're going to do, it, El Neni will go. Jorginho is the one who's more likely to go, I think, if anything, mm -hmm. because I think with Jorginho, I think there's uh, Napoli or all these other type of teams and. He'll probably go off and do that, but I don't know, man. I just yeah. it's frustrating. No, Arsenal, it's very frustrating. Yeah. No, Arsenal, you, I know that we keep it there. Because as an Arsenal the fan, fact. as an Arsenal fan for you lot, I don't know about you guys, but don't you always feel like we're on the cusp of something so big? And it's like we're always like tactically wrong just by a bit, or we signed a wrong player that takes us back a bit. And it's like, why every year? Can we just not get to a point <laughs> where it's like it just I'll get Oh, always short, bro. We always short. Always, always, always short. Always. Hey, what the old folks say? Day late, dollar short. Every <laughs> time you turn around, history of Arsenal. Let's let's go back. Let's 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 go back through history, gentlemen. We go all the way back through Wenger. What do we what do we need when we when we when when Wenger, when Masu Wenger was running the show? Defensive midfielder. Defensive midfielder. Yeah, yeah. 2016. What do we need to win the title? We need we needed some outfield players. What did he get? A goalkeeper. A goalkeeper. You know, 
Then you look at this manager last year. Tony, what did we say? Hey, man, we need Rice and Salcedo. Rice and uh, somebody. We need Rice and so you know. Aston Villa said, uh, uh, not Aston Villa, but uh, West Ham said, well, 75 million. Oh, that's too much. End up paying 100 million. <laughs> you know, it's, you know, it, it's happening. Then you get to this year. Tony, what did we say in the summer? We need a striker. We need a striker. We need a striker. We need a striker. What did we say in January? We need a striker. We need a striker. We need a striker. We need a striker. And now we. Let me shock you, Marty. Let me shock you, Marty. I just heard something that the club is thinking. Because look at the report I saw today, because of um, Kai Havertz silencing the critics this season. I already know Arsenal. The Arsenal are turning their attentions from a striker. I'm to not trying to hear that. I'm not trying to hear that. No, 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 no. Arsenal are looking at uh, no, Rafael no, Lahu, no. and they're they better, looking at this guy they they better Anthony get Anthony a striker. I'm telling you, they better get one. Absolutely. So, in other words, in other words, they better Arsenal get a striker. Just get winger Arsenal. and striker. Arsenal. Get winger and Arsenal striker. Arsenal might not buy a striker. Right. It's not. This is you not, I can't believe it. Uh, I can't believe you're not even entertained. You hear that? You hear that? No, uh, no, none of the three of us are even entertaining that. So you might. Uh, I'm not hearing that. I am not hearing that. It's, no, it's not. It's not. It's, it's, not hearing it. As Richard said, this is a non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. Exactly. We're, not even, we're not even discussing it. So we're not even hearing that. I believe the reports coming out today. Is that this is, they are looking at Kai Havertz as uh, the new striker? Let me tell, let me tell you. It's silent in the critics. Let so, me say. You know, um, let me say this. Um, let me say this. this. Awesome. You I cannot, believe. you cannot penny pinch your way to success in mm. world football. Thank you. You cannot do that. You look at you, you, you will never, if we keep carry on the way we carried the last three years, we'll never win a Champions League. You have got to cut the checks. Mm. You've got the you've got that we have to get ruthless. I told I told Gunnar I'm gonna tell y'all the same thing. Me and Lee had a long conversation the other night. We had about a three and a half hour conversation. And I told I told him at the end of this season, and I'm gonna tell y'all the same exact thing I told him. If we end up not doing anything this season, I'm not turning on the, over no tables. I'm not cussing. I'm not fussing. I'm gonna ask one question: What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? Are you gonna keep getting the same uh, uh mm -hmm. same dra drag players? And, and then, mm -hmm. You gonna keep getting these so-called projects, or you gonna go out there and get world-class players that can get you to the next level when it comes? Mm. Because if we can't get world-class players to get to the next level, all right, well, cool. We'll just go back to the Vanguard days. We'll just keep getting knocked out in the in the in the uh, in the, in the, in the, in the round. Let's get top four every season. Oh yeah, we back to that top four thing again. You know what I mean, that's it. Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it, it come a point, man, where you got to get tired of you know, being sick and tired, man. And I, I'm at that stage where. I, I'm tired of looking at Man City when every mm -hmm. time every time you yeah. look at you're winning something. I'm sick of it. I, I, sick I am of it. absolutely, absolutely I'm sick of Man City. I'm sick of Liverpool. I'm sick of looking at everybody else when we are supposedly one of the biggest clubs in world football and we do not have a Champions League trophy to show for it. Mm -hmm. That's like somebody telling you, hey man, I got all this money, I got all this money in the bank. But then when you when you wait, hey man, let's go out to your house, man. Oh no, nah, man, you know, I got something going on, man. We frauds. Frauds. But you know the do you know just adding on to what Matty said, the frustrating thing for me is yeah, if we don't go with anything, I want to see what you're doing. You know, we hear what is it? Um Billy, oh, what, yeah, what did yeah. Josh Conkey say again? He be excited. Be excited, yeah. Be excited. Yeah. So you say be excited. Cool. We got rice. We're looking good. Whatever, whatever. Now I'm looking. I'm looking, thinking city. Cool. They got Nunes. They've messed up with a couple of signings. Doku. Whatever, whatever. Liverpool are gonna have a new manager. Newcastle far off. United are gonna. I look at it and I think if we're smart and really, really do what we're supposed to do in the window. In the league, when you look at league, you think we should really just go on, go on and win it. I know people are gonna think I'm mad, but. Liverpool gonna to have to revamp again. New manager, the whole no clock yeah. thing. Let's accept they're gonna struggle for a bit. It's gonna mm. happen naturally, right? It's gonna United are gonna to take a while. Man, Man City right. do their thing, but they start off a bit shaky at the beginning. We could literally start and just go off from the start. But yeah. the problem with us, we always leave ourselves one short. Like Matt, you saying about you know, back in the exactly. back in the day. I look at the whole habits thing. Cool, it's worked out now, but it was like we were screaming for other things, and you just you go and spend sixty five mil there, and I'm like. 
why do you not always do this? This was the one window where I thought, oh, we're good, man. Like, Rice, we're all set up. I'm like, look at the team. Because if you look at it, yeah, Jack has now gone to Leverkusen, bro. Yeah. And, and I'm not saying it's just solely game, down to one him. One from winning the title, the German Bundesliga. Listen, oh we didn't need to change so much. You you, you do realise that. You do realise we could have... Imagine we got Rice while Jack was still there. Yo, that midfield, it's, I'm just saying. We, we didn't need to change that. I'm just saying. But anyway, we're unlucky with Timber, whatever. But I feel we're in a good place. We're in a good place. But like Matty said, I'll sit back. I won't go mad if we don't win anything. But I'll go, what are you doing this summer? That, and I'm yeah, not going to yeah. jump on... You know what I mean? Show me now. Go and get the wing... Forget just strike all this false 19. Get me a winger, whether it's Inaki Williams. So, uh, yeah, is it Inaki Williams? No, yeah. I'm thinking of the brother, the brother. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so Williams, go get me another winger and get me a striker. You get them two things. You suddenly look at this Arsenal team and we'll go into games where the opposition are like, oh my God, like what? These men got uh, whatever the striker is going to be or and that winger. What? Because yeah, you know what? what I Because mean? our left side, we're, our left side, we're lacking that. With Saka, you can give Saka the ball. And you think, oh, go on, go on, you're on your feet. The left's missing that. Imagine you've got someone like a Williams. I haven't, I'm not going to say I'm not going to lie. I haven't seen a lot of him. But you know we you get them excited wingers where you're like, come on, come on, come it's on. Go. You know, yeah. them ones. They make sign up. Yeah, you know them ones. We don't have yeah. that. And get, a strike, and get a striker. If it is an Osserman, whip the ball into him, another option. You know what I mean? Like A lot of people wanting this. They're getting gas on this celebration. You know them ones. They're uh, sporting Lisbon and that. I don't want him. I don't want Jukarez or whatever his name is. I don't want Tony. Get me Victor Osman, please. Victor Shimon, the man. That's a, that's a killer, too. Tony, put in a word, <laughs> man. Tony, put in a word, man. Go on, man. <laughs> I just say a word, right? Come on, man. <laughs> See you, guys. The final one before we go home. Arsenal faces Aston Villa this weekend mm -hmm. on Sunday. See, this is a crunch one. See, this will shape our mentality also because we're coming from a... I, I, I want to look like that game as a loss because it felt like a loss. You know, no home fans or Bayern Munich, the way our defence was rammed in and, 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 and you know, it, you know, we were disgraced. Let, let's call a spade a spade. We weren't looking good. Yeah. We need to bounce back. But in order to bounce back here, yeah, we need to impose ourselves on Aston Villa. We need to, you know, and Aston Villa have been, you know, they've been moving mad for, you know, for a while now in the Premiership. Yeah, they, they've been demonic. So, you know, they need an exorcism. In fact, the sacrament of exorcism has to be placed on Aston Villa on Sunday by no other people, no other team than the Arsenal. We need to show these guys, yeah, their level, where they are. And to also have a certain form of penance, yeah, we need to show and 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 tell these fans we're sorry for that showing against Bayern Munich. We need to bounce back. We need to show that we are ahead in this league, and we want to win it. We have to go and show them that we want to win it. Right now, that team remains one of the teams that has beaten us this season. We need revenge back. Are you guys sure? I will start from Richard. Are you guys sure? that we can get that Aston Villa game over the line. Mostly due to our mentality. Do you see an elite mentality coming back, mostly from what happened against Bayern Munich? Richard, take it away. Well, I hope so. You know what I mean? I hope like they're not burying their head in the sand and wallowing about uh, this missed opportunity. This is the game we need to concentrate on. Because the league is there for the taking if we really want it. So we need to go out <laughs> there. I don't want to see none of this tinkering crap either by putting in Zinchenko and doing all this crap because I just have a bad feeling he's going to do some stupid thing on Sunday and do that crap. I don't want to see that. Let me just play what was working and just get the job done. Simple. I don't want to see no excuses. I, I, well, I'm, I'm not even trying to hear all of that nonsense about, oh, um, we're trying to have one eye on Bayern Munich. Forget about Bayern Munich right now. Aston Villa's the next game. You yeah. go out there, you put your best players out there, you go and win that game, and then we can worry about Bayern Munich after. But this game is the game where we need to win because we have to win every single Premier League game. 
to win the title. That's literally the task. So literally, I've had my checklist for weeks, just ticking off games one mm. by one. And Aston Villa better be another tick. And it better and the tick means yeah, a win. Mean. Not a draw, a win. <laughs> you know what I mean? Win. Like literally, bro. I'm not I'm not even trying to hear it this season, bro. I I really want the title. And I feel like the title's there for the taking if we really want it. So we need to go out there and smoke Villa. I, I don't care if they got Ollie Watkins up front. Don't care if they got yeah. DRB. I don't care. We need to win. It's simple. We need to go out there and impose ourselves and win the game. And that's all I want. Good. Literally. Back of the net podcast. Back of the net podcast. Arsenal face Aston Villa at home. Douglas Lewis won't be playing on the day. He's suspended for that matchup. That's one fairy, fairy attacker who likes scoring against Arsenal, by the way. So he's out of the way on Sunday. Are we having it any easier on Sunday with the boys from uh, Unite Emery when they parried against us on Sunday? I'm going to keep it short and sweet. They're playing right mm. now. Can Playing right now, fully fit team. We play Tuesday. They play a high line. <laughs> We have all our players fit. There's no excuse. I don't want to hear no excuse. I don't want to see no tinkering. And I know they're going to say, oh, we've got Champions League. Bro, play your strongest 11. Whatever happens, happens. We try to tinker against Sporting. Look what happened. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just do your do your thing. Just go and get it done. Like For me, I just feel like the league's there for the taking. I look at Liverpool now. I feel like I feel the one that we're going to worry about more is City. I feel like Liverpool, I feel like they're going to slip up again. There's only so much you can yeah. keep going behind and winning games. Yeah. You know, they still got tough away games. I feel like for us, I think it's there for us now. It's there for us. And I'd be very frustrated if we let this chance go as well, because it's right there. And what more do people say? Oh, yeah, but Bayern, Bayern got an extra day, but the league's for us, bro. Go and win the league. You know, if we win the league and we go out to Bayern, Bro, it's all forgotten. <laughs> People are like, cool, you listen, you got our league. It's been a long time. Let's celebrate yeah. and enjoy it. So, Ain't no one worried about that. No, no one uh, worried about it. So, but yeah, I think I think we should beat Villa. I ain't even worried about that. Uh, I, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think it should be quite comfortable. I feel I feel go back to being solid at the back. I can see a two, three, no. That high line, you gotta attack it. Jesus has got to start this one as well. Not yeah. habits. Got to be yeah. It's a Jesus game, definitely. Jesus and Trossard, should I say. How about Emmy Smith Rowe? Even we too, we do this too. We've totally forgotten about this. I didn't hear Emmy Smith Rowe's name come out your mouth, my brother. I don't, I don't, I don't know like against Villa, Even man. we fans are doing this. Too. No. No, not talk of the manager. No. I, I wanted to hear you say, at least Emmy Smith Rowe, get a sniff. He can, he can play against Everton at home. Last game of the season. He can play against Everton at home, bro. This nice nicety thing that we've got. I love Emma Smith. But I look at our three in midfield without well, he him. He helped just... us get over the line against Luton. Like... Exactly. The, the one game. The one game. Before that, our team were doing it. Cool. When it's time to rotate and tinker, bring him in. This is not the tinker game. This is the game to play yeah, your no. strongest 11. You know what I mean? We're not in a cup to bring him in. If we had a cup game next week, like an FA Cup, yeah, you're cool. You bring him in. This is not a game to but Luton, but, but Luton was in a cup game. In fact, that was a dangerous game. Lu- Lu- it, it, no, you relegation see, battle. Relegation it, wasn't da- it wasn't dangerous. I don't know about you. Like, anyone here thought that Luton were going to cause us a problem? There's no way. There was no way. Uh, the, the, no. This is no, not that same. No, no, if it was away, then maybe. No, 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 no. Yeah. But away from home. Away from home. We struggled to win against Luton. What are we Everyone did. Away from home, yeah. Everyone we struggled did. To, uh, yeah, Everyone we struggled to... So how would you think that that game was a you know was a uh, you home know was game. a free hit? At home? No, I did, it was just a home game. And don't forget they had like eight, seven to eight players out. They played Tottenham previously. There's so many players out. Hey. We ha- we had a chance to rotate. We've with, uh, with Arsenal. Listen, we all know we're all Arsenal fans. Yeah, we know how how we want the team rotated and against who. I don't want this team mm. rotated at all. Even when you go to Wolves away, I want strongest team again. The only team I'm the only game I'm looking at. Rotate against Everton last game of the season. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Like there's no other game we have a chance to rotate players. No way. See, Not at this day. Both, see, yeah, both matches. Yeah, I've already. Got, even Richard, I've said, hey, let's don't tinker. Let's don't tinker. But the problem about don't tinker is that the players you're using as your first eleven, at the end of the day, fatigue will set in. They have many more games to play. I know it's getting to the end. 
But again, fatigue will set in. I'm, I'm serious. Fatigue will set in. No matter how you want to look or you know look the other way, fatigue will set into this team. The strikers Coming won't back. score. <laughs> Martin, I know what Martin, 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 all I'm going to say. All I'm going to say is, look at City. That's Martin, what I'm going to say. Rodri, Martin Odegaard will be down and out soon. Oh, We're already no. seeing mistakes and lack of concentration from our defenders. If they keep playing, all the you know, all of them at the same time, bro, they'll be wear and tear. When you're I'm winning, you never get tired. I'm not saying I'm correct. When you're winning, you never get tired. Look at City Martin. last year. Look at United '99. All the players say it. Skull said it. Keane said it. When you're winning, you're not tired. It's when you're in a when you're in a run of losing, you feel it more. But when you're winning, yeah. you how many games are there all together, roughly left? About seven. Come on, man. At the minute. come on. Just play Sorry, the game. Get, get on with it. Get on with it. Listen, rest after Everton. Go do what you want to do after Everton. You know what I mean? But nah, sure. Matty, come in because I'm. I want to hear Matty's point. The way you put his hand up, Tony. Sorry, after man. Tony was talking about fatigue and yeah. players falling down and, you know, they're going to get tired. And Whose fault is that, Tony? <laughs> oh, it's the manager. I mean, the manager, that's, that was a big, that was a big question. The fact, the fact that the manager, he didn't think about the back end of the season. Hmm. You have to think about the front. The bitches I tell the story. You start from the beginning, the middle, and the end. You have to manage your team the same way. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I coached ball, I had players that came off the bench. I knew when coming down the stretch, they'd be my, my starters would be tired. I had a bench that was just as equivalent as the as the as the starters. That's the, as the starters, yeah, exactly. exactly. So I didn't lose anything. If anything, it just started chaos because now I got to figure out who the, who the informed person is. Do I want to drop the deal? You know, whatever. We we are a situation where we. These guys are gonna have to do it. It ain't like we in five cup competitions. Man, hell, we only got two going on: the Champions League and the and the, uh, and the league. And the league yeah. So I mean, I mean, and we all know what's coming Tuesday. We all know what's coming Tuesday. We know what's coming Tuesday. This 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 Premier League title. It's been twenty years. Yeah. A drought. You remember? You remember about eight years ago, people were laughing at Liverpool. Oh man, it's been twenty plus years since y'all won it. <laughs> We that team now. Yeah. Tony, what happens if we don't win the league this year after last year? You know what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen? Let me, let me let y'all in on something. When Real Madrid come knocking this time, so Libra might say, you know what? That's that's actually that's actually enticing. Oh, dear. City might come around and say, you know what, soccer? We got a spot for you, man. Come on over. We'll get, get you a trophy. Get you, we'll get you some. One of the te teams from Italy might come over and say, hey, hey, Martinelli, come on, come on out here to AC Milan, man, and run run around with Rafael Leal. Y'all come on, man. Y'all speak Portuguese, y'all can get it. <laughs> We're gonna start losing players. <sighs> We're gonna start losing players if we can't get the job done. You have to win to attract. See, yes. last year, last year you kept hearing people say, if we get in Champions League, we can get. If we get in the Champions League, this person will come. If we get in the Champions League, we can we can challenge the likes of this. But we get, you know, we can get players like Mbappe. No, 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 no. You have to be winning. Winning. Exactly. Not, not coming in second probably. place. Not mm. not just second place, y'all. Not just second place. You know, we yeah. have to be winning. This game on Sunday is a championship game. Mm. The game mm. next week. It's a championship game. Every single game is a championship game. We brought up something yesterday after we got, got off with uh with Jazz. We were in the back chat. And, and, and I want y'all to understand, Tottenham Hotspur is going to have a direct effect on who's probably winning this title. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, if we, make all three of us. Wolves. Hey, if we, wolves. hold on, wait a minute. Because if we are in a situation to where if they beat somebody and help us, hmm. you think Tom, you think the Spurs for a lot of that man? You man, they, man, they will run the academy kids out there. Hmm. They'll get the sixteen year old signings. You'll see a team full of sixteen year olds playing to make sure that they don't they don't they don't uh, lose that game and to help help us win the title. Vice hmm. versa, man. You look at Man United. You know oh, they're, they're gonna play as, as trepid as they are. 
they 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 they're gonna have something to, to do with this. Look at Chelsea. I know Chelsea is trash, but when we play Chelsea, are they gonna be trash? When we play United, are they gonna be trash? When Spurs, when we play Spurs. Wolves, did you just say? Oh, will they be trash? Bournemouth. Mm. Don't forget, don't forget about Southampton last year. Mm-hmm. We have <laughs> got to be locked in on every single game. This is why I keep highlighting why I keep highlighting players like Zinchenko, players like Gabriel Jesus, they must be coming off the bench. Yes. They are not sure-footed. We can't rely on them. I keep telling y'all, Jesus ain't scored more than 16 goals his whole career in the Premier League. Thomas Partey is going to have to be healthy. If he's gonna move, if he's gonna put him in, put him in the midfield, he, he's gonna have to play him one or two games here or there. We are gonna have to go one game at a time, and I don't care about what the score is at this stage. I just need a win, not a, draw, not a draw. I just need a win. All that stuff we were in, in October, November, y'all. We were talking about one nothing, and we just getting over the line. You know, I'll take all that right now. Just get over the line. Oh, I'm just Let's get over the, the way. I'll take yeah. that. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, guys, because we have to go now, yeah, uh, because I know uh, Matt will have something to do. Uh, see, predictions for the matchup. Quick one, and then shout out your channel. Two. Quick predictions. Two. Shout out your channel, Richard. Two. Okay, good. Two nil. Richard. I think it'll be two nil. I'm going two nil. But yeah, subscribe to Lion Text TV on YouTube. You know what I mean? Uh, content will be coming out after the game on Sunday, so look out for that. And then, yeah, man, 2 0, I reckon. 2 0. Yeah, back of the net podcast, Matt. Yeah, listen, I, I think 3 0. Um, yeah, I think it should be a comfortable, should be, but like Matty said, whatever it is, <laughs> a win's a win. Um, but yeah, back of the net podcast, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. But yeah, subscribe, follow, comment, share it round, man. Share the love. But yeah, big up Tony for having me on again, man. Yeah, thanks, yeah. man. Thanks, man. Uh, see, um, uh, Salton Gunner, please subscribe to our brother, uh, Back of the Net Podcast. No. You know, he has a lovely channel. And, uh, you know, of course, the work has been, you know, keeping him a little bit down for now. So he hasn't really been doing much streams for now, but he'll bounce back quite soon. So same thing with um, Richard also, you know. That, you know, work and other things, keeping them from uh, uh, doing lots of stuff. But uh, it would be nice for you to, you know, try and work with these people, uh, with, you know, with Matt too. You know, he's a, he's a great guy, great guy. So uh, please subscribe to his channel and um, uh, show him some love too. It would be nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Southern Gunner, predictions and shout out your channel, my brother. Southern Gunner here on YouTube. Uh, Sunday will be doing the uh, Watch Along with Lee Gunner. And uh, Tony, good news, brother. I'm pretty much off next week, so we'll get we'll get some lined up for next week. I've actually got some 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 room to, to, to play around with, so we'll get yeah. something lined up at some point next week. Richard, Matt, if you're around, we'll get one of these powerhouse panels th- together again. We'll line up. <laughs> yeah, and, definitely. Uh, <laughs> and, and and after this two nothing, we might might have to call Rod because I, I need to, I want to hear I want to talk to him about this uh about this Liverpool today. I want to ask, want to ask him a few questions. Are you still losing? Two I'm seeing the score. I'm thinking, boy. I told y'all, boy, you can't wait to speak to Rods, man. See, guys, well, guys, do you, do you guys think that Liverpool have a bigger fish to fry? I think I told you know, you know what? I told bigger fish to fry. I told you. I told Garner, man, if Liverpool is real good when they out in front, man, but if you if you have to, you know, put a little pressure on them down the stretch, yeah. they like yeah. us now. They, they like our fraternal twin. Now they'll they'll do the same exact thing we'll do. You just hope yeah. that they do it more than you do it. So we'll 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 see, man. But yeah, uh, Aston Villa Sunday, uh, two nil. I expect one nil first <laughs> half and probably a late goal to 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 push us on through. But hopefully. Hopefully, man, he doesn't come out there with some crazies and Chinko and party it right there. You know, all kind of stuff. Fair enough. You know. Fair enough. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for showing up to the show. See you guys. Yeah. Because my, my work will be quite late tomorrow. 
I have classes so late uh, tomorrow. So um, the thing there is that I'm going this morning to the belly of the beast. Yeah, I'm going to Sakazin TV early this morning, um, 11.45 uh, uh, um, p.m. UK time. I'll be with um, Flawless. You know, I have to go down there. Uh, him and um, uh, TJ Warren. I'm going down there to answer for my crimes. Uh, you know, for saying that the stars have aligned <laughs> for the Arsenal against Bayern Munich. Uh, totally, man. Uh, totally. See, I'm going to be <laughs> crucified so hot down that there. One. Yeah, they're going <laughs> to tie me up on the cross and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> allow me to just burn on the stake. But no problem, man. You know, I caused these problems myself. I'll go sort myself out <laughs> with them. So uh, join, uh, you join me down there, 11, I think 11.45 p.m. today, UK time. And, um, you know, hopefully I get to get the boys back on Sunday. Uh, you know, and um, you know, and the watch along will be down there on, on, on Sunday too. And next week, Matty will be down here. Of course, I will also like to do lots of stuff with Richard and um, back of the air podcast, Matt. So, see you guys. Yeah, thanks for joining us That's today. Fun. From me and the boys, we are out.